listener, welcome or welcome back to my channel and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys my house tour. As you guys can see here, we have moved from the bohemian house to this brand new modern mansion. Basically, I reset my Toka world because I was getting a little bit tired of it and it was super messy and chaotic and I just need to start very fresh. Luckily, now we have this brand new big house and I can't wait to show you guys. Also, don't forget, if you're looking for an item that I didn't list, go to my comment section and I'll try my best to reply. For now, go ahead and enjoy this video. <laughs> Okay, so to start off with this house tour, we have the front porch. So over here we have my kids, which don't mind them. Hi guys! <laughs> um, over here we have a surfboard, which came from the brand new pack. We have this little plant here. We have a mailbox to store all our mail in. If we open it here, we have some mail, and that mail is from the post office. It's just the best place to get any kind of clutter for mail. And then we have a soccer ball, and you can just get that from the school pack. Right here we have a trampoline which came from the Snuggle Cups pack, I believe. And then these two bushes came from BBU. And I believe it's from the second floor of it as well. And then right here we have a base game rug. And by the way, base game means you don't have to buy any packs. It means it's already in the game for you. This table's from Karen Court and we have just some basic stuff. We have a plant and a mask. So basically if I'm leaving the house and I just want to go out real quick, I can go ahead and just grab my mask and get ready to go. We also have some food here for my doggy, or if there's a stray dog, they can of course come grab something to eat. Right over here we have a keep out sign and this little Karen Core uh, music box. Then let's actually go inside to the house, so let's go ahead and open up the door. In here this is the entrance to the house, and this is the entrance like security area, so basically we have this alarm system which came from the Modern Mansion. We have keys, some hand sanitizer, and a newspaper which came from BBU. Over here we have a little plant like basket I believe. And I have no idea where it's from actually. Maybe base game or the Bohemian pack. I'm not even sure. And we have this little plant in here. And then we also have this umbrella which came from one of Friday's gifts a while ago. This is my laundry room. I'm in love with it. I think it's super duper nice. And... I love how aesthetically pleasing it looks to me, in my opinion. <laughs> I tried my best to make this house look super aesthetic and nice to kind of fit my theme, which is preppy and softy. So basically, by the way, my house is full, so hopefully it does not reset or else I'm going to freak out. <laughs> but anyways, we have a beanbag. We have this little pillow, which does actually work. We have a Roomba vacuum, which came from the Modern Mansion. Same for the plant back here. Over here we have our two washing machines which came from the downtown loft pack. We have a Karen Core hamper and then up here we have shelves with all my cleaning supplies and toilet tissue, you know, just the things that you usually have in a cleaning closet or a laundry room. Moving on to this area here, so over here it is a timeout area. As you must know, my kids are bad. They do not listen, they don't do what they're supposed to do, and they cause big messes in my house. <laughs> and I felt like it was necessary to have a timeout area that said keep out as well, because, you know, my, my kids don't listen, so yay. <laughs> but basically, they just go ahead and sit down for about a couple minutes, and then I'll tell them when their time is up, and they can go back to play. Over here, we have a little beanbag area, and it's just super chill. Oh, and if you're wondering how to get the painting, it is from the activity house, and yeah, you can just make your own custom paintings at that house area. Definitely a location I recommend for you guys. Over here, this is my kitchen, and I love cooking, so I thought it was necessary to have a really nice kitchen. So, um, as you can see, we have a little bar here, and we have these super cute spring flowers or summer flowers, whatever you want to call them. I just thought they were super colorful, so I thought they would kind of match a season. I mean, I wouldn't really expect to see those in winter anyway, but they came from one of Friday's gifts. Over here, we have my pots and pans, and we have like a little spaghetti mix, not spaghetti mixer, but like, you know, the things where you strain the spaghetti, and we also have a cheese grinder. Down here, we have a waffle maker, and we have a toaster. Then here we have some of these cinnamon sticks and we have sugar which both came from one of the little Christmassy locations in the winter area and I think it's called like the winter cabin but there's two winter cabins so I don't remember which one it's from, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then in my fridge here we have it all stocked up, stocked up, not stocked up, what? <laughs> so we have bacon, we have fish, 
chicken and steak and up here we have fruits and then lastly we have some drinks so that is my fridge then over here this way we have my pantry which has cereal water popsicles jelly beans lollipops and some rice and sugar and those are just things that we can't really put in the fridge this is me in my pajama outfit, so uh, don't mind that. I'm just in the same location. <laughs> Here we have a fruit bowl if you want to sit down and just eat while you're watching TV. Over here we have this beautiful Guadatama egg and as you guys know I call you guys my eggos so I thought it would be necessary to have an egg pillow. Here we have a picture of my family I guess. I don't know, I just thought it kind of looked like something that would be in a house, a family house. So I put it there and yeah, over here we have our dog and her name is Mars and then she has her food and her water and her nickname is Marmar. Then over here we have the table which we eat at. It's a dining room table and it just has a couple bits of clutter and they're all from the Karen Core, this whole furniture set over here. And then some of the plants are from the Bohemian pack or just random locations that I don't remember. Oh, and by the way, that little pillow over there is from the... I forgot, but I'm gonna assume that it's from the Bohemian pack. That's the only pack I would ever think to be. And over here is my bathroom. This is the only bathroom in the house because upstairs there is the empty room that I will be showing you guys. But in here is my bathroom. Super chill. There's not a lot of stuff in here because I didn't think we would really need that much stuff in here as I really don't record that much in my bathroom. So... I just put whatever in here but down here we do have a couple things that you actually do have in a bathroom and we also have a little toilet in case the kids need to come potty <laughs> and yeah that's what we have in here so JJ is actually over here he's playing the guitar because he's trying to learn because he wants to just try out a new hobby but this is from the Karen core pack the pillow I think is from the dog park and then we have this gym bag, which came from one of Friday's gifts. The treadmill is from the Karen Core pack. And then over here, basically, this whole area just has a bunch of clutter. We have clothes that came from Friday's gifts a long time ago. We have an iPad. There's an alarm clock as well. We have a radio. We have a surfboard on the wall. And we have my wallet and a teddy bear that I got for Valentine's Day, which is so sweet of JJ. But that is basically the room. Hope you guys like it. Yeah, what he said. Anyways, let's go upstairs to the second floor so I can show you guys the rest of the house. Okay guys, welcome to the second floor of the house. Definitely one of my favorites, especially the kids' rooms. So over here we have just a little clutter area. We have the doggies, dog food, and water. We have a plushy soccer ball. Up here we have a scrapbook from when we went to Greece, our vacation. And then up here we have a baseball bat and a baseball and I put it up there so that the kids can't reach it so I have to go get it for them just so I know that they don't try and break any more mirrors in my house because no thank you. Um, over here we have my favorite area as well. I love this area so much so this is basically going to be the outdoor area and I think it looks super duper nice. So we have the two kids helmets which came from the treehouse pack. We have a inflatable little water, what are they called? Uh, I honestly forgot, but basically you get what they are, right? Oh, floaty, floaty, water floaty. So basically it's on the table because we were blowing it up because it popped a little bit. So, you know, JJ had to go fix it up here. Over here we have a bathtub and a shower combo. So after the pool, you can go out here and just relax. We have sunscreen and tanning lotion, which be, I think came from the vacation villa pack. And all the palm trees and stuff came from the brand new pack that just came out recently. So out here we have the sitting area and fireplace. So basically the kids are over here just chilling in the pool. We can be here toasting up by the fire and maybe JJ can be over here making some delicious foods with the little pigeon over here because we do live downtown in the city because that's where they have all these really nice large houses so we did have to move out here instead of the suburbs. Moving on in here, this is gonna be the game room slash gym room and office, I guess. All three in one, I guess. <laughs> so here we have my little yoga area, which is super duper nice. We have my weights as well. Here's my office. Over here we have the like movie room I guess so if we're watching a movie and we don't want to be downstairs we can just watch it up here and then over this way if we go down here real quick we have another yoga mat or 
a tanning mat, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, guys, but I thought it was a tanning mat. I mean, not tanning mat. I thought it was a yoga mat, and I guess it's a tanning mat, which I don't really care. It's okay. Uh -huh. And here, there's literally nothing. It's just so it could take up some space. And then in here, my favorite room in the house, which is definitely going to be Luca's bedroom, as you can see. I had so much fun decorating this room, and it was just so pretty. So basically, we have his dream cart in here. So in his dream bucket, we have his soccer ball, we have a green football, and those both came from a stadium that we went to recently in Greece. We have a plushy soccer ball because he can't decide if he wants to do soccer or football yet, but let me know in the comment section which one he should do. He also has his VVU plushie here because that is his dream university to go to. And here we have his dream basketball group that he also wants to join. So he honestly is stuck between a sport and he can't decide. So let me know which one he should do. So over here, this is his bed. He has a UFO thing here. We have a camera and his UFO light, which is so cool and cute. Over this way, we have his turtle bed. He cares so much about his little turtle. He decided to buy him a whole bed, which wasn't necessary, but hey, it's okay. <laughs> um, over here, we have his little desk. So if he wants to grab his setup stuff, he can go over here and do it. And he just sits here and chills. He has a mini fridge right there, which is kind of covered by the lamp over there. So yeah, but that's his mini fridge. He does wear glasses. They don't look good on me, but he does wear them when he's playing his video games because I don't want him to strain his eyes. Over this way, we have his little like chilling area, I guess. I don't know. Maybe if he's doing homework and he doesn't want to be distracted by the computer, he can go over here and do it instead. Up here, we have his closet, which has nothing in it, so no need to even worry about it. This way we have an empty bedroom, which, um, uh, uh, don't mind that, guys. Don't even worry about it. Guess that's a little something for another video. Right? Right. <laughs> so to continue on, this is the last room of the house tour. I hope you guys liked it, by the way. This is my favorite bedroom for sure as well. It is preppy themed, and honestly, in real life, I do have a more minimalist bedroom, which means, like, there's not a lot of colors and stuff. But I'm trying to be more preppy and decorate my room to be more colorful because I love colors so much. They're so nice. Um, the only color I don't like in the rainbow is definitely orange. That's like the only color I don't like. Um, but over here we have her little doggy, and her name is Sparkle. I know, I know, right? It's like, what kind of name is that? She wanted to name her Sparkle, so I was like, okay, fine, you can name her Sparkle. <laughs> Up here we have some beautiful little plants and then this, uh, not plants, paintings and then they're both from the Hus. And then this up here came from Friday's Gift and this down here came from the Modern Mansion pack. Over here is her seashell and watermelon themed bedroom which is so pretty and it does work. She can sleep on it and it was a build hack that I got from Hallie's Toka. I did forget to mention, which I'll just edit the video to put it in, but this whole house is inspired by Hallie's Toka on TikTok. And I'm so happy that she posted it and she let people use her house as long as they gave credits. That's it for the house tour though. I really, really hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the bell to be part of the egg fam. And I'll see you all with another roleplay or a story video, even though this video was none of those. Toodles! Alright, that's a wrap. <laughs>